Hello again. I must apologise for uploading the silent film yesterday. Old people, eh? Love them or not? I was planning to buy a new video camera following on from my success with the new microphone. But the way I've been struggling with this microphone, I'm not sure that a new camera would be a smart move. Maybe I should quit while I'm ahead. I'm sorry that I removed a few videos yesterday, but I really don't want to see this channel closed down. Yesterday afternoon, I got an email from YouTube, which told me that I was being suspended for a week, which would mean that I would be unable to upload new videos or anything. The reason given for this was that YouTube had decided that I had violated their community guidelines by engaging in hate speech. That is to say, encouraging violence against or hatred of a protected group, namely gay people. Now, those who watch this channel regularly will, I am sure, know perfectly well that I've never encouraged violence against anybody. Nor do I hate anybody or urge other people to hate anybody or anything of the sort. So on the face of it, this was quite puzzling. It was also odd that this related to a video which I put up here on June the 12th and was entitled Why Gay Pride Month Should Be Approached With Some Caution In It. I mean, six weeks ago, they've suddenly taken it into their heads to decide that it's hate speech. That's odd. The video itself was quite innocuous. I simply explained why monkeypox was spreaded rapidly among gay men, and I talked about some aspects of the gay scene which caused this to happen. I said nothing at all untruthful, and indeed I quoted only from reputable sources which had talked about the difficulty of tracing the contacts of monkeypox victims, you know, after um, people are infected with some diseases, monkeypox is a notifiable disease now, efforts are made to track down those with whom they've come into contact, particularly intimate contact. It was absolutely hopeless with monkeypox. It can't be done due to the fact that many encounters in that particular community, which is to say gay people, gay men, tend to be anonymous. I certainly didn't say that we should hate people who've lived their lives in this way, but I did suggest that it was a distinctive lifestyle which was different from that of the average heterosexual. Hate speech indeed. I had thought about this for a while and tried to work out why they'd suddenly accused me of violating the community um, guidelines. Um, after I'd given the matter some thought, I appealed against this ruling in my usual suave and sophisticated way mentioning that I was prepared to remove the video myself, but that I felt that suspending me was a bit much. You see, it did strike me it was slightly odd that six weeks after posting that video, YouTube decided suddenly that it constituted hate speech. I think I must be getting a little slow on the uptake with the passing years, because it took me five or ten minutes to work the matter out. <laughs> An hour or two before I'd received the message about my supposed hate speech, I'd uploaded a video which poked a little fun at the YouTube uh, community guidelines and I accused them uh, in a fairly light-hearted way of hypocrisy. This was the video in which I mentioned that cures for cancer are touted in videos on YouTube and nobody seems bothered about it. Now I know that YouTube keep a watchful eye on this channel and I rather suspect that somebody <laughs> took it ill that I should make fun of their community guidelines in that way and decided to teach me a lesson by suspending me for violating them. This is the first time it's happened to me this year as I've been treading very carefully after being suspended a few times last year. I understood this to be a warning shot across my bow, which was why before appealing I removed both the video about herbal cures and also the one about the drag queen. 
it seemed to do the trick because YouTube emailed me an hour later saying that they had had a change of heart and decided that my video about Gay Pride Month had not been hate speech at all. I have removed it in any case just to be on the safe side. I am sorry for removing those videos because I know how irritating it is when you've commented and had an exchange on a video and then see it simply vanish, but I'd rather like to keep this channel going if I can. I think that the take-home message is that I'd best not talk anymore about YouTube's policies and anything which I think might be inconsistent about them. I would perhaps probably do as well also to give a wide berth to the subject of homosexuality. Just so that nobody's left in any doubt, by the way, I certainly do not hate homosexuals or lesbians. I think that heterosexual marriage is the ideal lifestyle. But if other people want to pursue different ways of life, it's nothing to me as long as only consenting adults are involved.